Hey there, Psych2Goers, welcome back to the channel. Do you think about the big picture rather than focusing on every tiny detail? Or are you fond of complex inner thoughts and in-depth imaginations? Despite being on the same side of the spectrum, each MBTI personality type brings something new to the table. Just because you share the letters doesn't mean you're all the same. Did you know the INFJ and INTP personality makes up only 5% of the MBTI personality types? In a normal environment, both of you would be reserved, insightful people far away from the center of the crowd. These two types also have traits that resemble intelligence, creativity, and perception, but not all is the same. So let's take a look at five of the differences between the INFJ and INTP personality types. Number one, contemplative of one idea versus gatherer of many ideas. Are you a brainstormer or a deep thinker? If you're an INFJ, you function with a preference towards exploring the depth of one idea rather than jumping from one idea to the next. It can even be called having tunnel vision at times. You draw insights internally, wrangling with it until you make certain of the idea's viability before moving on to the next idea. But when you're an INTP, your mind tends to flutter from one idea to the next, touching base with multiple possibilities at once. You don't hone in on an idea as deep as an INFJ would but you thrive on seeing things from different angles. With your logically attuned mind, these ideas tend to fall under scientific theories and philosophical reasoning more often than not. Number two, sensitive versus straightforward. Are you a sensitive speaker or were you ever told that you lack a filter? As an INFJ, you are an empathetic soul valuing harmony among peers. Your gentle comforting sensitivity to people you hang out with makes you a reliable friend and advisor. Your genuine interest in people's emotions and passions allows you to dive deep into emotional waters with your interlocutors. But an INTP, on the other hand, cares a little about the niceties and how they come across. You're blunt, but it all stems from your desire to uphold rational thinking above all else. You are analytical, so much so that it may turn off others who are not as adapted to the straightforward manners of the INTP. Number three, absorb information versus gather information. Are you a person who enjoys reading down into one topic or move from project to project? When you're an INFJ, you like to absorb information in a convergent manner and develop one major insight. Consider when you go to a library, for example. You stick with one book that deeply interests you and read that to its conclusion rather than move on to the next. However, INTPs prefer taking in information from all angles rather than sticking to one. Your inquisitiveness makes you a knowledgeable one in many subjects, but no contest to an INFJ in terms of depth of a specific topic. For the library analogy, the INTP brings a horde of books to the table and skims through a couple of pages or even multitasks before moving on to the next. Number four, act by reason versus act by intuition. Do you have a reason behind your actions or do you do something based on your gut feelings? Strong intuitive insights and hunches grant INFJ the ability to independently manifest that which is likely to happen. You wander the world intuitively, and while you may often find it hard to pinpoint exactly why pursuing something is good or bad, you tend to be right in most cases. Whereas, when you're an INTP, you see things more vividly by reasoning through them. You base your actions around your internal logical structure. Through this line of thought, you pinpoint and articulate the reason why certain things are the way they are or why a course of action is a good or bad idea. And number five, organized versus sporadic. Looking at your desk space, do you have organizers and stationery neatly stacked or are there messy papers scattered everywhere? The INFJ here doesn't like things scattered around aimlessly. You enjoy having things neatly in order and take some time in the day to make sure that the workspace or room is tidy. You like organization in both mind and in your external environment. While the INTP here is less observant about the workspace, you don't need as much order as the INFJ does and are less keen on taking steps to clean your place. Your mental state reflects that too, sporadic and jumpy in nature. But it is during these exact moments where true intellect shines like a eureka moment, lighting up a dynamic that may seem odd for others, but works perfectly fine for you. While it is impossible to have only and all traits described for a certain type of personality, 
you are more likely to find it uplifting to see most of yourself come together under one specific personality type. Even with the same characteristics, no two personality types are the same, but knowing subtle differences helps to find stronger bonds with those around you. Do you know which one you resonate with the most? Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts, experiences, or suggestions. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there figuring out the divide. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. And as always, thanks for watching.